Good morning. This is Aleph News, and I'm Hamza Zatullah. Let's have a look at the important headlines. World News. United Nations teams in Nepal are responding to the devastating earthquake in the west of the country. And it reports that over 150 people have been killed and hundreds more injured. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said he was horrified by a strike on an ambulance convoy outside a hospital in the Ghana Strip, reiterating his appeal for a humanitarian ceasefire. Myanmar witnessed a sharp escalation in fighting between the military and opposition groups this week fueling a surge in your displacements, the UN humanitarian wing has said. Saudi News Saudi Arabia has decided to continue its voluntary cut of 1 million barons per day, initially implemented in July 2023 and previously extended until the end of December 2023. Saudi Arabia strongly condemned the extremist statements made by the minister in the Israel occupation government regarding the prospect of dropping a nuclear bomb on the beside the Gaza Strip. The bully board word in Riyadh has opened its doors again to visitors with an area developed by more than 40%, carrying new, rich, and diverse entertainment experience coming from different parts of the world. Saudi Arabia total revenues amounted 258.54 billion Saudi Riyal in the third quarter of 2023. The Minister of Finances said in a quarterly budget performance report on Wednesday. School News The school has conducted a non profit program. Pay a tribute to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. Muslim Day was celebrated in the school with all the pop and show on November first. Science Expo is going to be conducted on November 9, Thursday at school. Thank you and have a nice day.